everyone and welcome to Lisa B. Thank you so much for joining me. So today we are going to do a quick little 15 minute stretch which is perfect if you've just been on a really big cycle ride. Um, actually good if you work at a desk and you've got that rounded shoulder um, posture going on. So we're going to get straight into it. So I'm going to sit side on just so you can see what I'm doing with my back. So nice long spine. So we're going to stretch out the chest because kind of in that posture a little bit. So we're gonna stretch out the chest, strengthen the back muscles, stretch out those quads, those hip flexors and the hamstrings as well. So really good nourishing stretch for the body, a little bit of strengthening work as well. So hands onto the back of the head, open the elbows. So from the front, elbows open. So you're gonna squeeze the elbows back, squeezing your shoulder blades together and then close. So you're not rounding the back, you're keeping the spine. Spine is nice and straight the whole time. So squeeze the shoulder blades together, open and close. So really opening up the chest here. Let's go for five more. One, two, three, four, five. Good. And then we're going to bring the arms up, inhale up. Exhale, twist, nice long spine, look behind you, don't lean back, inhale, lift, exhale on the side, twist, good, come forward, then we're going to do a cat cow, a seated cat cow, so bring the arms forward, now really round your back, look down, now open, open the chest, bring those arms back, look up, and again, round, look down, open, big inhale, exhale round, inhale open, exhale round, one more time, really open that chest and close, good, and then we're going to come up to a kneeling position, so again we're going to stretch out that chest, so spine is neutral, so make sure you're not collapsing, make sure you're not rounding, so your back should be nice and long, so we're going to inhale, take that right arm up, look up, bring it down, stay on this side, right arm open, inhale, exhale down, inhale open, exhale down, two more, inhale open, exhale down, one more time, inhale open, exhale down, good, cat cow, so really Lower the belly, chest through, head up, round the back. Lower the belly, chest through, head up, round the back. One more time. Round the back. Then we're going to do the left side, so I'm just changing round. So you can see, so left arm, inhale, open. Exhale, close. Inhale, open. Exhale, close. Let's go for three more. Inhale, open. Look up. Exhale, close. And inhaling. Exhaling. One more time. Inhale. Exhale. Now we're going to take the right arm up. Inhale, open. Exhale, down. Thread it through the left arm. Straighten both arms. Lay the head. Look to the left. Now you can stay here or left arm opens up. You can bring it round and wrap it round your lower back. So really opening the chest. This might not be super comfortable as long as it doesn't hurt, but you might stay there. You might stay with your arm on the mat. Just holding, breathing. Good, come back to center. We're gonna do the other side. So right arm, inhale up. I don't know why I changed that, I've just done the right arm, haven't we? I'm going mad. Left arm, left arm, inhale up, exhale down, thread it through, lay the head, look to the right. You can stay here or right arm can come up or you can wrap it around your lower back, just opening the chest. Good, just breathe. Remember it can be here, it can be there. Good, coming up. And then we're going to lie on our side to stretch out those quads. So imagine they are pretty um, tense after being on a bike 
for a good few hours or even an hour or half an hour so we're gonna lie all the way down rest the head on the hand so now we're gonna straighten that bottom leg keep a little bit of a bend in the bottom leg now hold on to your ankle never the toes so either the top of the foot or the ankle keep your knees close and just pull back gently you can even pull this leg rather than the knees being next to each other pull that knee back a little bit but don't let the knee come up keep it in line with the pelvis so stretching out that quad just breathe pull it back a little bit more remember you might be here that's fine but if you can pull it back a little bit try to relax the quadriceps so front of the thigh try and relax it try not to fight this stretch good and then come out of that let's change over we'll go to the other side so rest the head a little bend in your bottom leg just so your body is nice and stable grab the ankle or the top of the foot knees stay fairly close you can pull that knee back a little bit so i'm leaning forward a little bit with my body taking that thigh back so it's coming behind me a little bit breathing try and relax your quad take a few deep breaths so in through the nose out through the mouth good one more inhale exhale pull that knee back a little bit more good and then we're going to lie onto the tummy so we started with that opening close of the elbows we're going to do it lying down so it's a little bit more challenging and um, you're working against gravity so feet either together or a little bit wider than your hips whatever feels right so you're doing the same thing so hands on the back of the head looking down at the mat the whole time so now lift your head and shoulders and you're going to open the elbows and close so you draw the shoulder blades together and relax draw them together and relax let's go for eight more this is engaging all those back muscles so remember the core is about the back muscles as well it's not just about the stomach muscles so really open those elbows squeeze the shoulder blades together let's go for a couple more good and then straighten your arms out in front of you we're going to do pullbacks which is really good for your posture and your back muscles so tummy muscles in lift your head float the arms up and pull back for one two pull the belly button in away from them imagine you've got a blueberry under the stomach and you're trying not to squash it let's go for five four three two one and come down we're going to do a little bit of a um, breaststroke prep so again really great for your posture and opening those chest and shoulders so we're going to pull the tummy muscles in lift your head and shoulders but keep looking down now float the arms off holding for five four three two one bring your hands back by your hips turn the palms up so now we're going to lift really squeeze the shoulder blades together try and get the legs off the mat as well holding for five really squeeze the bottom four three two one and down nice we're going to stretch out those quads more so grab the ankle and the other ankle so you can stay here that might be your limit or you're going to really push your feet into your hands lift your head and shoulders don't lift the thighs so much it's about lifting the head and shoulders pushing your feet into your hands holding for five four three two one and down good then we're going to do the hamstrings and those hip flexors so right leg forward we're just going to make this a moving hip flexor hamstring stretch good keep moving good then we're going to hold here so hold down straighten that back leg a little bit so i'm going to place both hands down on the inside of this right leg now i'm going to let the right sole of the foot come off the mat as i push that right knee out to the side 
So try and tell your hips to relax here. You might want to tense, try not to let that happen. Good, I'm gonna bring the foot back onto the mat. Both hands are next to each other. I'm gonna sink a little bit deeper into this stretch. Make sure this knee's going up towards the ceiling. And then you're gonna walk yourself back, straighten out this hamstring, toes up towards the ceiling. And just breathe. Good. Should feel pretty good on the old hamstring. Remember the leg might be bent, that's absolutely fine. Don't worry if it is. Okay, let's go to the other side. So left foot forward, we're just gonna keep moving forward and back. Good. I hope you're feeling good. I hope this is starting to loosen you up a little bit, relax you. This is so good, just 10, 15 minutes every day, I guarantee you'll start to notice the difference. So place your hands down on the mat. I'm gonna let my left sole of the foot come off, so you can see my foot's come off. Use my left hand to push this knee open a little bit. Breathe into it. Come back, I'm gonna place the sole of the foot down, hands next to each other, I'm gonna slide my right leg back a little bit. So stretching out the hip flexor on my right side. Just breathing into this. And then I'm gonna come up, straighten this leg, toes up towards the ceiling, stretching out this hamstring. Relax your shoulders, relax the face. Sometimes when we find a stretch really um, intense, we kind of tense somewhere else in the body, so try not to let that happen. Good, come out. And then we're gonna go onto our back. We are just gonna go into a glute bridge. So we're gonna lift the bottom, keep the weight evenly distributed on the feet, relax your shoulders. Now, if it's okay, you can interlace your fingers underneath you, roll your shoulders underneath you. And now open out the chest. This is great for opening out the chest and counteracting all with that rounded shoulder. Squeeze your bottom here. So really squeeze the glutes. Pull the tummy muscles in. Roll the shoulders underneath you a little bit more. Push your hands away from you. Good, one more inhale, exhale. Release the hands, roll back down. Bring your knees into your chest. Have a little rock from side to side. Feels good. Good. And then place your feet on the mat. We're just gonna cross the right leg over the left. Try and have no gap between the legs. Move your hands away from your palms up. Knees to the left, look to the right. So really nice lower back stretch. Good, just breathe in. Back to centre, change the legs over, knees to the right, look to the left, get the knees as close to the floor as you can, keep your chest facing up towards the ceiling, breathe in, coming back to centre, good, we're just going to roll up, going to open out the chest a little bit more, so Take your hands behind you, interlace the fingers, pull your shoulders back, open, look up as long as it doesn't irritate the neck. You can fold forward, push the hands up towards the ceiling. Coming back up, good, relax, roll the shoulders back. Couple of circles with the head, loosen up those neck muscles, change direction. And then we are gonna drop the chin to the chest. Look up. Center, let the head fall to the side. You can use the opposite hand to pull that shoulder down. Head up and over, directly to the side, not forward or back. Pull that shoulder down. 
good come up um, I've got lots of low body stretches on my um, click in the playlists you will see a whole playlist of stretches lots of lower body stuff which is great um, if you've just again been on your bike so I really hope you enjoyed that please press subscribe if you haven't already um, hit the bell and you'll get notifications every time I upload another video um, I'm adding videos all the week and yeah thank you so much for joining me I hope that was helpful I hope you feel really relaxed and a little bit looser a little bit um, maybe just more relaxed in body and mind um, see you soon and take care